Hey, it's Josh here, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a teaser of my Divi WordPress Beginners course. I totally get it. If you're interested in a course, you probably wanna find out what it's gonna be like, and you wanna make sure you know exactly what you're gonna learn, and it's gonna be worth your investment before joining. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a preview, and I'm gonna let you see some actual course footage to help you get a feel for the course if you're interested in it. Now, if you're not a current student of one of my other courses, all my courses look like this, to where you'll have a video, and then you'll have written text to accompany each post. And if there's any code or any links or any resources, I always provide those in all of the pages. And then what you'll see here with each post in the course is that you'll have a really handy sidebar that hangs with you throughout the course so you can always go back and reference any post that you want to, especially since you have lifetime access to the course. And again, I provide all the links and resources or anything that I mention in the videos for you below. So without further ado, here's a little glimpse of the course. All right, everybody. Well, to kick this course off, we're gonna do an overview of WordPress. We're gonna cover a lot of the basics and we're gonna start off and I'm gonna show you how to set up WordPress and I'm gonna give you an overview of some of the initial settings that you wanna make sure you have in place before you start actually building your website it is the search engine visibility. Now, you can select this for sites like I'm doing right now, which is just kind of a test site, a development site, but if you're building a site that's gonna go live, you wanna make sure this is always unchecked. Now you can check this while you're building the site and then uncheck it when you go live. That's totally a fine option, but you just wanna make sure you always reference back to this because I've had this happen before where I've cloned sites over to a live site and I'm like, why isn't it showing up on Google? I had, before I was more experienced with WordPress, I didn't realize there was a setting that was preventing search engines to find it. So that's a really important setting. I set all of my sites and most of my clients want their pages and posts to be under post name which just means that if I were to do a page of services, for example, it's just gonna be my domain name slash services. This is huge for SEO too, because generally you don't want your date in here, particularly if you're writing an article that eventually is kind of dated. You don't wanna have somebody reading a blog post and then it say up here from 2016 or something like Let's that. Let's look at it on the tech side though. Whoa, what in the heck? This brought in all kinds of junk text and junk code from that pages document. And that's because I pasted it in the visual side. So this brought in all of these extra P1 classes, P3s and all this stuff because this is the code side. So the text side is essentially showing you the HTML of your content. So what I recommend doing anytime you copy and paste um, text in here is that you paste it in the text side. So now let's look at the visual side. There we go. Everything's clean and then you can style it in WordPress in the visual side. And this is where I start all of my websites. So you'll notice right out of the gate, it's, it's all very self-explanatory and it's very user-friendly and a lot of it's common sense. But what I'm gonna do here is kind of walk you through each one of these tabs and I'm going to point out some of the most important features and let you in on some of the things that I do for all of my sites. That way you can have this moving forward for all your so build. I try to stick to a handful at most of main primary colors. So the cool thing about this is you can set it here in the Divi color palette, and then this will follow you around throughout your site. So anytime you use a module, anytime you're creating sections and rows in Divi, you're gonna have this color palette to choose from so you don't have to go back and keep on copying, pasting a certain color. Because so this is where you're going to set a lot of your global site styles. These are going to include things like your actual header style, which is where your logo and menu sit. You can adjust your menu color, your styles for the menu. You can adjust your typography color and styles throughout the body of your site and also your menu and your footer. You can adjust the actual footer colors and styles. And then again, you can go through in a lot more detail here and adjust some things globally for your site. So those colors are gonna flip flop from the top bar to the main menu bar. So check this out, we scroll down. Whoop, colors flip-flop. So that's just kind of a cool little effect we could do. And again, no coding required. We're gonna cover, again, the, the main aspects, which happen to be three main things. Sections, rows, and modules. Sections are what you see here in the blue. Rows are what you see right here in the green. And then modules are going to be right here in the gray. And then each one of these, you'll notice, have some additional options. On the very left of the visual builder, there are some global builder settings. So you can actually go through here and you can choose what default mode you wanna be on. You can go here 
I mean, all this is very self-explanatory, but you can get in and you can actually change things that are going to customize your visual builder experience. What's called the wireframe mode. Now, this is where if people really, really like the backend experience, but you want to do it visually, this is the best mode to use because the wireframe view is, you can see right here, it looks like the backend, but it's within the visual builder. So how cool is that? I actually use this all the time when they release this because it gave me the same experience of the backend builder, but it's in the visual Let's builder. Add an image module here. Now I have a couple images saved on my desktop and we're gonna drag those in here because we're gonna play around with a foreground image and a background image. And I just wanna show you how to better utilize some of the styling options here for rows, modules, and sections themselves. And then if I wanted to add a background image, I can do that right here. So we're gonna add this picture of Columbus in the background. And you're gonna see that this gives me the ability, it'll actually ask, whether you want the gradient to go below or above this image. So if I go back to the gradient section here, watch this, I can say, hey, place this above the image. Now, if I do that, you're not seeing the image, but I can go into the color and reduce the opacity. Whoa, crazy cool stuff. You can just do so many cool things with Divi, I love it. Watch this. If I take the bottom down by negative 50, it's going to move my image below the footer. So you see how that worked there? And that's because I did a margin. Now you cannot do negative margins or anything negative with padding. Padding is strictly just gonna add some spacing around that element, but margins, you can do negative stuff, which is pretty Divi cool. Divi Library is all about your types. It's layout, which is a full page, section, which is just that. It's gonna save everything in that section. You can make any number of any of these items global. So I can make a global button, I can make a global divider, I could make a global row, a global section, or a whole page if you're duplicating pages, which I'm not sure why you would ever do that, but hey, you can if you want to. So it's all managed here, and again, it's really, really handy. And then the import-export feature is huge. I could import or export just a number of these. So I could go click here, and I could import or export only the ones that are selected, and then I could name these. So this, let's go up here to awesome title, and this is an H1. So if I go to the design, and I look at the heading text, and I look at the H1 option here, you can see right here that the heading text size will have that icon. So I could go in here, and I could change the heading text size for phone. Let's say for some reason on phone, I actually wanted this to be big, but I didn't want it to change on tablet, and desktop, you can do it just like that. Let's do it, let's get wild. Let's add these gradients. Same thing I did before, we're gonna, ooh, that's kinda cool. See how the uh, testimonials kinda blend into the purple? That's pretty cool. Let's do that. So now those, um, those testimonials kinda blend into the bottom, which is a pretty cool effect. So again, now you see with Divi, just a few settings can make such a big difference. There we go, that brings that in, that tightens it up, and you can use that same idea with the rest of these sections too. You could go in and you could tighten things up, but automatically Divi looks really good out of the gate mobile, which is super, super handy. So again, just use those methods there that I showed you to go tweak that. So there's just a little glimpse of the course. Hopefully that gave you a good feel for what you're gonna learn and some things that you're gonna do after completing the course with building websites with WordPress and Divi. If you have any questions, you're welcome to contact me, but be sure to check out the course page below with all the details that will go into a lot more information on the course and answer a lot of your questions. And then one thing I always recommend is to check back and uh, look at some of the reviews from people who have been through the course. After it's been live for a little while, I tend to get more feedback and reviews from people who are in or have been through the course. So be sure to check that out. And again, hopefully this gets you excited and gives you a little peek of what you're gonna learn in this course with being able to build websites successfully with WordPress and Divi. So if this gets you excited and pumped, I hope to see you in the course soon.